We are standing in front of the Mara Samachpela compound. This is a building that is over 2,000 years old, was most likely built by King Harold. It is one of, if not the oldest, intact burial site in the world. In ancient times, during Avraham Avinu's time, it may have looked like something like this, artist rendition of a, a burial site. In Harold's time, he built this building around it, right? And you can see over here, there's a black line on the picture here. What happened is that people would go in through a gate, that gate would lead them to the cave inside the mountain, and they would daven there, as it says, Vayalu Banege Vayavoat Hebron, in reference to Kalev, one of the spies. And if they afterwards wanted to go and rest a little bit, they would go up a stair inside the building, inside the mountainside, and get to the floor level, which was above them, above the cave, above the slope. And over there, they were surround, but surrounded by four humongous walls up to the sky with six monuments on the floor, but those monuments were above the cave, above the slope. Now, this picture here, this picture here shows you graphically that there are, there is an underground passage which is underneath the wall there, the corner of the south wall and the corner of the west wall going from a little bit up the south wall northwards into the mountainside. Why am I talking about that? Because we have to know, today we can go inside the Maras Machpela compound, but for 700 years, Jews and also other non-Muslims were not allowed to enter the Machpela compound. Jews therefore davened only outside at this southern wall which is shaded now at this spot here which is marked with a circle and an arrow and the numeral four now why did the jews daven dafke there at a spot which was called the seventh spot so if you look at this picture here you look at this picture here you can see over here there is still the arrow here there is a um a little marker here this is where the Jews davened. There was a staircase leading up towards there. Where these ladies are now going up towards, there was a staircase. What did that staircase look like? If you look at this picture here, you can see this is a picture taken right before the staircase was destroyed after Israel liberated Hebron in 1967. Why did Israel destroy the staircase? The defense minister at the time thought there was a disgrace that Jews were only allowed to go up seven steps outside the building, but really also he was looking for the original entrance into the wall. I have over here another picture which shows us, shows us the original entrance to the staircase, which must have looked like something like this. This is a picture of the real staircase on the north side, which still stands. This is an old photograph which would lead to a gate to a staircase like this on the south side, which doesn't stand anymore. Now, having said so, we're going to take out the map one more time and turn this map over now and understand why that seven step is so crucial. We look at the picture over here and we can see that when one stands at the seventh step outside the south wall, one this is the south wall, the, wall, the shaded wall. Then one is basically standing exactly opposite an underground tunnel that leads at a slant northwards towards the caves that are the burial caves of the Machpelah. Machpelah Loshin Kaful, double caves. Rav, Vishmuel, the Amru Tarvayu, they say, one cave on top of the other, one cave next to the other. When research was done here in 1967, and then again in 1980, they found that there's a chamber and above, a chamber above and below it, there are more caves. But also that's one above the other. But they also found that there are caves one behind the other. So we're gonna go up now to the seventh step and 
do part two over there. Follow me to the seventh step. gate let's see the picture one more time this is where the gate was and behind me once you enter this gate would be a staircase that would lead up towards the eastern wall you would go around and then find a little entrance into the compound but for 700 years Jews were not allowed to go inside and that's why they dafened over here. And we should be aware of the fact that even today, for example, Kohanim that don't go inside, they will daven out here. And even today, as the Machbela compound is shared between Muslims and Jews, and during Muslim holidays, we are not allowed to go inside, and vice versa, during Jewish holidays, they don't come inside. So when we have Muslim holidays that we're not allowed to go in, where do we daven? We daven here, by the south wall, near the seventh step, because we know that there is this 